Welcome to Designer Digital's Bi-Weekly Tip, October 7, 2011. This week's tip topic, mats with flare in Photoshop or elements. Are you tired of square or rectangle photo mats? Use this simple technique to give your photo and journaling mats a little bit more personality. Begin by opening a new white document in Photoshop or elements. Press the letter D on your keyboard to set the foreground and background colors to the default, which are black and white respectively. Get the rectangle tool, which shares a place here on the toolbar with the custom shape tool. Don't confuse that with the rectangular marquee tool near the top of the toolbar. That one won't work for this technique, so get the rectangle tool. Check the options bar to make sure Create New Shape Layer or Shape Layers icon is selected. And then hold down the Shift key while you drag out a square, oh, about three inches. In Elements, tick the Simplify button here in the options bar while the rectangle tool is still selected. In Photoshop, choose Layer Rasterize Layer to make the shape editable. Next, get the Liquify filter. Here's how. In Elements, you'll choose Filter, Distort, Liquify. In the full version of Photoshop, you'll choose Filter, Liquify. This opens up the Liquify dialog. In this dialog box, you've got some tools down the left side here, and then you have some choices over in the right. Use this brush size slider to make your brush just slightly larger than your square. Or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to resize the cursor. To begin with, get the pucker tool from here in the toolbar. Click and hold the cursor in the center of your square to slightly pucker or pull in the sides of the square. If you like this shape, click OK. But if not, hold down the Alt key or on a Mac system the Option key and click on the Cancel button to reset. At this point, you're going to need to resize your brush again, so we'll resize it, and then get the Bloat tool. Click and hold the cursor in the center of the square again. This puffs out the sides of the square, giving it a different shape. If you like the results, click OK. Use your new shape as a mat for photos, journaling, or an embellishment on your page or use it as a clipping mask for digital papers and photos. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Photoshop or Elements tip.